This story is crazy. A team of scientists is drilling a hole into the seafloor deeper than ever before. What they have discovered could completely change our understanding of the structure of the Earth and even the origin of life. Today we are taking a close look at this groundbreaking research and the original footage of the discovery from the depths. So make sure to stay tuned until the end. A warm welcome everyone. Imagine you want to know what is inside our planet. You have surely heard of the crust, the mantle, and the core. But have you ever wondered how we even know that these layers exist? After all, none of us can just walk down many kilometers and check. That's exactly why what an international research team has now achieved is so spectacular. They have conducted the longest drilling into the Earth's mantle ever and brought a rock core to the surface. Okay, before we dive into the details, we need to clarify how the Earth is structured in the first place. Imagine the Earth as a giant kiwi. The thin shell on the outside is the Earth's crust. It is just 6 to 17 kilometers thick under your feet. The green flesh would then be the mantle. It extends to a depth of about 2,900 kilometers. And the lighter center with the black cores around it in the middle corresponds, as you might expect, to the Earth's core. Now for a change, I'm craving kiwis, um, and not pizza. But the coat is not just a boring superficial layer, it is our planet's powerhouse. This is where volcanoes and earthquakes originate, and our magnetic field is even influenced by the processes in the Earth's mantle. The only problem is that this area is normally much too deep to be examined directly. Imagine having to drill through 70 kilometers of solid rock. It's like trying to pierce through 70 stacks of phone books with a needle. If phone books still existed, and if this comparison made any sense. And this is exactly where the story gets really exciting. And this is where the story gets really exciting. The scientists have chosen a very special location for their drilling. The Atlantis Massif in the central North Atlantic, Johan Lissenberg from Cardiff University, the lead author of the study, explains, when we recovered the rocks last year, it was a major achievement in the history of Earth science. But even more important is what the mantle samples can tell us about the composition and evolution of our planet. Bahakosa. If current research findings excite you as much as they do me, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. It costs nothing to subscribe, you'll never miss a video again, and you'll be helping me a lot. Thanks, guys. Yes, what makes this place so special? The Atlantis Massif is located at a tectonic window. This is like a natural elevator that brings mantle rock closer to the surface. Normally, the mantle is buried under several kilometers of rock, but here, the ultra-slow spreading of the seafloor at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge has caused mantle rock to come much closer to the surface. The research vessel with the sonorous name, Jordi's Resolution, set out in 2023 to drill at this site. Originally, the team had planned to drill about 200 meters deep. That would have already been a record. But then something unexpected happened. We started drilling, and it went amazingly well says Andrew McCaig from the University of Leeds. We got really long, continuous sections of rock and decided to stick with it and drill as deep as possible. Mantle rock is usually quite brittle and tends to fall apart during drilling, jamming the drill bit. But for some reason, the rock at this spot behaved like a dream. The team was able to extract intact sections up to five meters long from the borehole. In the end, they reached a depth of 1.2 kilometers. Just imagine, that's almost 400 meters more than the height of the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Overall, they recovered over 70% of the drill core as coherent rock. And now, of course, the big question is what the team found in these rock cores. First of all, they found that the chemical composition of the mantle was different than expected. Our results are different from what we expected, explains Lissenberg. There is much less of the mineral pyroxene in the rocks, and the rocks have very high concentrations of magnesium, both of which indicate much higher amounts of melting than we would have predicted. This surprising discovery could change our understanding of how the mantle melts and feeds volcanoes. We also found channels through which melt was transported through the mantle, allowing us to trace the fate of the magma after it was formed and rises to the Earth's surface," adds Lissenberg. But the really intriguing discovery may relate to the origin of life on our planet. Near the drilling site is an area known as the Lost City. I immediately thought of the sunken city of Rallier from the books of H.P. Lovecraft. But don't worry, the scientists haven't accidentally awakened Cthulhu. Lost City is a field of hydrothermal vents dotted with beehive and tower-shaped structures 
that release methane and hydrogen into the ocean. Numerous microorganisms live off these molecules and form the basis for entire communities of small invertebrates such as snails and tube worms. According to some theories, life on Earth could have originated in precisely such places, in the depths of the ocean at hydrothermal vents. Susan Lang, a scientist from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in the United States, explains, the rocks that were present on the early Earth are more similar to the ones we recovered during the expedition than to the more abundant rocks that make up our continents today. The secret lies in the interaction between mantle rock and seawater. When seawater seeps into the mantle, the higher temperatures heat it up, creating chemical compounds like methane, which then bubble back up through hydrothermal vents and provide fuel for microbial life. Lissenberg describes this as a kind of chemical kitchen in the subsoil of the Atlantis Massif. As they drilled, the scientists eagerly collected samples to study how far life extends in this deep marine ecosystem. William Brazelton, a microbiologist from the University of Utah, reports, We collected so many more samples than expected that we used up many of our sample-taking supplies halfway through the expedition. The nearly continuous recovery to a depth of 1.2 kilometers provides an excellent opportunity to document the relationship between microbial diversity, abundance and activity with depth and temperature, including temperatures approaching the limit for life. This could give us insight into how deep beneath the seabed life can exist and under what conditions the first life forms might have originated. If we understand how life functions in these extreme environments on Earth, it might also help us understand how life could exist on other planets or moons. So we are simultaneously researching our own origins, as well as the potential origins of alien life forms on foreign planets. Let someone say science isn't exciting. This expedition certainly shows how much we still have to learn about our own planet. We know more about the surface of Mars than we do about the depths of our oceans and the interior of the Earth. But with every drill like this, with every rock core that is recovered, we get closer to answering fundamental questions. How did our planet form? How did life begin? And perhaps most importantly, are there other places in the universe where similar processes could have given rise to life? Researchers will continue to work on the samples in the coming months and years and hopefully discover even more about this fascinating place deep at the bottom of the ocean. Of course, I will keep you updated on this. So feel free to subscribe now and activate the bell to not miss anything. And now we travel from the depths of the ocean to the vastness of space. The Earth was hit by a mysterious alien signal, for which there is currently no explanation. Scientists cannot attribute it to any known source, and the first are already speaking of an alien signal. You can find out everything about this mysterious message from the depths of space in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to check it out, it's very exciting. And at the bottom right, you'll find another exciting topic from space and science. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.